We are ready to go. Men's gold medal match. Oh, the defense already is on song. And there it is. This is the Chilean combination in the red. The brothers Esteban, oh, sorry, the cousins Esteban and Marco. Up against the team from Italy, Adrian Carambula and Enrico Rossi. They'll be wearing the blue. So first point, the gold medal match. This exciting combination. This is a really mouth-watering match. Never before in the history of the FIVB have Italy and Chile played for the gold medal in the men. So for those two nations and your fans, I hope you're glued to the television screens because this is a moment in history, a moment in time for your two proud nations. And a moment in history for beach volleyball here on Manly Beach in Sydney. And that man right there makes it so exciting. <laughs> cranking, cranking that sky ball into the wind, but this time not getting it over the net. He's been so consistent with that serve. unbelievably consistent with the sky ball. It's confusing the local volleyball purists that a sky ball exists in today's competitive environment. He's been hitting it so well. And this has been another factor, the Carambula-Rossi combination, is that remarkable span of variety to their attack. It's been wonderful. Their ball control certainly is exciting. They're really not playing the standard game of volleyball. They're playing what suits them. And it's really exciting to watch. But you talked about the two different countries. Well, there's a lot of Italians. There's a lot of Chilean people here in the crowd. And they're really coming together and making a lot of noise for both of these teams. I, I can't pick it between these two teams. They're both excitable. They're not normally in the gold medal match, as you said, John. So they're going to give it their all. Aren't they what? The team from Chile in their 60th event together. The team from Italy in their first event together. So you couldn't ask for a greater disparity in, in team experience. But I don't think it matters. Do you know only six times in the history of the FIVB World Tour have a men's team won the event in the first time they've played together as a team. So this is some rare air for the Italian combination. Coming through the qualifier, if they win it, they'll be in a small select group of teams winning it in their first time as a team. Long way to go before then. The scoreboard is going to see his change ends with 4-3. Enrico Rossi racing down at the southern end. This is Adrian Carambula, his partner. And the funny thing is we can't see how high his sky ball can goes but if you follow the shadow of the ball is he going to get to serve this one yeah he's just waiting there's a bit of arguing going on already early in the game that's good they're both fired up we like that Karambula he's going to do this sky ball but you can oh, see the on. shadow watch the shadow and <laughs> it stays in the air for so long you can see the wind blowing you can watch the faces of the crowd as their necks go up he handles it pretty well the roll shot is perfect well no more of that I say it's uh it adds a delightful aspect to the game, but for the, the Chilean combination, they just have to find their groove. Esteban and Marco, the cousins, they previously won the one event just last year at the FIVB Tokyo event in 2018, back in July, I think. So it's not that long ago since they've tasted gold medals around their necks. What is it about you athletes? You win a medal and you put it in your mouth for the photo and chew on it. I've never understood that. Well, look... I don't think it tastes very good, no, personally. No. But other people want to do that to our medals as well. Believe it or not, I'm always asking people, please don't bite it. It is real. <laughs> they love that comment, though. It's not made of chocolate. Uh, very, very sweet hands, though. And the team from Chile, Esteban and Marco. This is Esteban, I think, going back to serve. Serving into the net, so not quite getting it done. You can see the conditions, folks. We've got the beautiful blue skies. The waves are lapping in, just caressing the sand and the breeze, just kissing the, the flags. We couldn't ask for Mother Nature and all of her finery. And then there's this. Absolutely mental. The sky ball of Karambula. But dealt with pretty well, so the Chilean boys are not... Uh, not phased. Look at that. Look at the shadow on the sand. You see the ball looping down wickedly with so much spin on it. Great hit through the middle that time from Esteban. Scoreboard six all. You're watching the gold medal match. The Italians 
not going to get it that way. That short, quick, low set that they play on one side. That's one of about 14 different variations we're going to see today. Quite strangely, they didn't execute. They've been so good at those skills. That's a rare error. Let's go the other way now. Nice touch. <laughs> so I was talking to their coach earlier, Marco Salustri, who's had a, a, an amazing beach volleyball coach playing and then coaching career. He's been around for a long time, ever, really almost since the birth of beach volleyball. And um, he's really allowing his players to play the way they want to play. They're not the biggest players, the Italian boys, in, you know, in the world, on the world tour. So they're just using their strengths of being able to control the ball well. And here they go to get another opportunity here. The lefty gets dug. Oh. And Esteban just puts that away. Wonderful play. All four athletes. You're going to see a lot of that defensive lunging. Uh, that was a wonderful play. Scoreboard 8-7 now. Chile at the bottom of screen in the red. The Italians are in the blue at the northern end of Manly Beach. Oh, he's missed, so I think that's going to be called out. Looking for the referee, yeah, first referee indicating it's missed. Yes, that is called out by the referee. Pretty clear in his call, so. A little yeah. bit of feistiness, a little bit of orneriness already between the four passionate volleyballers. We, we're okay with that. We're okay with asking questions of the referee and a bit of passion shown. It's all about the way it's done. And beach volleyballers do it pretty well. So Chile, 9-7, serving into the breeze. I, I think probably the southern end of the beach favoured for serving today. See the jump serve well handled. Ah, but the spike drags it down into the net. Forced that error with a great serve. So, you know, although the serve was passed well, um, you see that... Uh, um, Rossi had to really dip down low to dig that ball and just put him off his rhythm in his attack. Yeah, so we're seeing a timeout called. You are watching the men's gold medal match in this iconic part of the world, the harbour of Sydney, the ferries, the bridge, the opera house, the skyline, the shoreline. It is absolute eye candy. The cold, frosty beverage on a hot summer's day is as bucolic as it gets. We are gifted and blessed to live in this land. And we recognise all who are here before us. But it is all about the beach volleyball today. That is the Italian combination. Enrico Rossi nearer to camera, his partner Adrian Carambula. Rossi, 25 years of age. Carambula a little bit older at 30. Only six foot tall, Carambula. So you know, he has to work a little bit harder to chisel the ball around the block. He'll be seeing Marco Grimault a lot of the net, who's six foot five for Chile. So, you know, six foot versus six foot five, you know, that's a reasonably significant margin that he's trying to deal with when he's attacking at the net. Absolutely. And, you know, the great thing about all these players is no matter whether they're the shortest player on the court or the tallest player on the court, they've all got incredible skills to be here today. And they're using the, their strengths and they're trying to match those against their opponent's weaknesses. So it's a real combination it's a real strategic game and physical as well and that was beautifully executed we call that a cut shot across the court no one home lovely left-handed slice what i've always loved about manly beach karen you can debunk this utterly if you like is that the sand here i think is the great leveler it's a very deep beach and what i mean by that is these athletes will play all around the world on different types of surfaces but boy you have to really be a good jumper and a good mover in the deep sand at manly beach to be effective Absolutely. Don't think they're having too many problems getting around in the sand at the moment. But they're wanting to finish this playoff. Great defence from both teams. Karen Bula gets dug. The Grimault brother, uh, cousins working hard. Oh, and there it is. Esteban hits the winner. Marco pumps his fist with joy. A lot of petrol has just been spent on centre court by both these teams. Well, it's very early on in the match to be having these long rallies and we've talked about it all through the commentary of these finals. It's the players have played many, many matches. Of course, Italy coming through the qualifier, having an extra couple of games. Yeah, eight games. Well, this is the eighth game for the Italians compared to this being the sixth game for the Chilean combination. 
uh, obviously Chile have won every match, as have uh, the Italians. It might be self-evident, but importantly, uh, Esteban and Marco Grimal have only dropped one set on the way to this match. So, gee, they've got to be a little bit fresher. Don't know. Well, they're getting a bit of luck right now, so it's going their way. Sometimes those balls can drop on your side, but when it goes on the other side, you, you'll take it. So Chile sit down for the technical timeout now. 13 points to 8. We take a break when the scoreboard adds up to 21 points in the first and second set. Hope you're enjoying the coverage, folks, all over the Volleyverse. Wherever you're tuned in, you are at Manly Beach watching the gold medal game in the Manly three-star FIVB World Tour event. It is featuring the number two-seeded team from Chile, Esteban and Marco Grimalt, the cousins, up against a qualifying team, the Italian 25 seeds. Enrico Rossi and Adrian Carambula in their debut as a team on the world tour. They have made it all the way to the big show through the qualification. They've certainly had a lot of the crowd on their side because of this style of play. It's just been very different. We see a lot of men's teams play the big up and down ball and really use their, their height and their strengths, but the boys from Italy use a lot of ball control, a lot of fast plays, just different things that uh, sometimes can be quite frustrating for the opposition. Uh, absolutely. All right, ready to go again. Chile, 13, leading Italy, 8. First set, men's gold medal match, a nice bit of variety. Uh, there it is. And it's not often you see a back set that is so low and fast. And dug off the forearms, not hand set. Exactly. So the margin for error there is ridiculous. And he's executed it like a training drill that he's done 10,000 times. Here we go again, 9.13. Chileans getting a little tight. I think that was Esteban going for a really sharp angle, but just undercooking it. So 10.13, a little mini comeback. Big shout out to all the people watching wherever you are here in Australia as well. Our good friend Darren Grimsey watching. Love all of our volleyball fans in Australia. I'll give each and every one of you a shout out if you let us know you're watching. <laughs> I hope they're watching in Chile because these guys have been absolutely breathtaking. And they lead 14-10 now. It will be Esteban of the Cousins to go back to serve. How about that for a play? That's breathtaking. It is, yes, uh, almost quarter past midnight in, uh, in Santiago in Chile. So I guess, what is that, that Saturday night? They, look, they're just getting, they're not even getting home yet. They're just getting started. Oh, absolutely. And in Italy, it's quite early in the morning, so maybe they're just getting home. Well, buongiorno. 4 a.m. or maybe just getting up to do their exercise Good for the morning. day. Oh. <laughs> that is some big heat from Marco Grimald. Cross court snot. Esteban and Marco. Esteban is in the blue cap. His cousin at Marco in the red. This is Marco with the ball. He will get into position at the net. What sort of tricks are the Italian boys going to conjure up? Absolutely breathtaking. And they're using their, their foot speed and their agility to try and really work the block around. You don't know if they're going to go left. You don't know if they're going to go right. Is it short? Is it tall? And, and they seem to take a lot of pride, Kerry, in not playing the same play twice, which is no small feat. Here's an opportunity again. Chile. He's there. He's everywhere. Adrian Ignacio Carambula Raric. We just call him Carambula. Molto bene. Very good. 13, 15, they needed that to just keep the margin manageable. They'll change ends, still down by two in the first set. 13, 15, Italy with the ball, northern end. But the response from Esteban, picture perfect. So 16, 13, we are on our way to 21 points. First team to 21 with a two-point margin. Wins the chocolates here at Manly Beach this weekend. Nicely placed in the corner. So one back for Italy. And look, the hard thing is for Chile, and, and they're doing it really well, obviously, but the hard thing is they haven't seen these guys play before. You know, they're first time coming in together and 
Very different, very fast game. And, and they're having to adjust throughout the match. Absolutely. And given that they haven't played together as a team before, the Italians, there won't be a lot of scouting tape and information on the way they've played together in the past because they just haven't. And that is huge. We haven't mentioned Enrico Rossi for a while, but seems like an apt time to mention his name as he leaps skywards. And that is as good a technique as you'll see, Kez. Right over the net. He reaches over the net. He doesn't just put up a wall to be blasted off. Goes Boom. over. So there's that ball. We can see the shadow. Is it in? Is it out? <laughs> Causing some indecision. It's terrifying is what it is. Oh, but well played, sir. That's good work by Marco Grimaldi. Saw his cousin getting roof blocked a moment ago. So he has just chiseled it off the block this time. Okay, Marco Grimaldi for the Chilean combination of cousins. Up by two. First set. <laughs> he just hung in the air there. Didn't that was such an indoor play. And that's these guys obviously have played a lot of indoor volleyball before coming out onto the beach. And that run around behind. Is that a slide? I think you used to call that a slide. We did. Used there. to call that a slide. It's normally off one foot. But they're so fast and they're so, they know where the attack's going to end up or the set's going to end up. Well, we've seen that play turn out before where he actually sets it over on two and the, and the spiker runner is actually a decoy. I thought they were setting up for that play. So that was equally breathtaking nonetheless. But oh, yeah. scoreboard back into the Chilean favour at 18-16 now. You never know what's coming from the Italians. So Chile need to stay on top here with a good serve to put them under pressure. And there it is right through the middle. So... You don't often have to serve that ball particularly hard, but if it's well executed from the middle of the backcourt to the middle of their court, so hard to decide who's going to take that ball. So and what a way to switch. Such a local serve, that one, on this day from the southern end into that breeze. He didn't try and overhit that. Pick the seam, as you said, Kerry, between the two athletes. Top spin into the breeze, and it dips perfectly onto the baseline. So that was a lovely play at an important time. 19-16, the first set. Italy with a little bit of work to do, to say the least. That's a good start. Scooping that Carambola from almost underneath the net out to his partner. It's almost like they're connected by they are, you know, an, an elastic band. They, they, they push and pull. They, they always seem to be exactly where they need to be at the right time. For a team that's only just started playing together, their connection is just breathtaking, as is that serve. But it's been handled well. There he is. Carambola gets the touch. Where does it go? Oh! oh. Well, that is cruel beyond words. The breeze has been favouring that sky ball serve for Karambula, but when he gets the pop, then the breeze all of a sudden takes it away from his partner and he is left grasping for air. And it is an important 20 points to 17 scoreboard. And a whole bunch of set points to the team from Chile. Not yet. Woof. Not yet. Woo. Rossi makes no mistake on that one. 18-20 now. The Italians walking the tightrope. Two set points in the gold medal game still for Chile. One good action. And they're sitting down with a one set to love lead. Here we go. Calambula is there. But the block is better. Marco Grimalt says not today. And the, bra the cousins Grimalt playing like brothers and have taken the first set 21-18 in the gold medal match over Italy. Well, the Chile slash Australian crowd has just been going off. They really love their team in red. They have a chant. They're using it in between the loud music here. There's so much going on at Manly Beach. The, uh, the crowd off the wall. It's about eight deep. It's about eight deep, exactly. We have a wall here that lines the beach, the pavement. And that's where players will, or fans will sit on the wall, but then there's eight people deep trying to see over the top of them. The grandstands are sold out. The VIP area is packed. And the people on the outside, so they, well, they just miss out. Uh, there's some of the lucky ones that got seats, got in, bought tickets. Good to see them valuing the game as we value it, Carry It should be valued. It should be cherished and curated. And... Volleyball Australia should be congratulated on the way they've brought the Volley Fest together in 2019 and all the work they've done behind the scenes. I hope they get to sit back and enjoy a slice of pizza, perhaps a Sydney Rock Oyster, and a nice glass of unwooded Chardonnay. 
But enough of that. It is time for the second set in the gold medal match. Well, there you go. The first set done and dusted. It is Esteban and Marco Grimold, the Chilean number two seeds, battling out a tough first set for a 21-18 win over Enrico Rossi, Adrian Carambula. We're underway again. This is the gold medal match. We've got a transition opportunity for Chile to start it up. And they get it done, so very nice. Good confidence building start. Well, they copied that little fast play off the Italians that time. They're keeping the ball down really low, and it doesn't look like there's much wind down low, but as soon as the ball goes kind of above the height of the net, you can see that the breeze starts to pick it up. So men handling it really well, but that serve, putting them under pressure. Can't do much with it. This will be straight down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could see that, couldn't you, Kerry? Your years of experience saw that one unfolding inevitably. The defensive players were back on the heels. No one was getting to the net to get a block, and the ball sat up, demanding some spike pressure, and it got it to Chile 2-0. They've started as they finished the last. You can see the crowd there on the wall enjoying their beach volleyball. Such a knowledgeable, such a friendly crowd, and such a difficult serve there from Esteban Grimalt. Making it really, really difficult again. This is the, the part of the beach to be serving from as the conditions are favouring. The breeze is coming off the ocean out of the southeast, south southeast. So the, the end of the beach that the Chileans have started this second set on means the breeze is in their face and it gives them an opportunity to maybe do a little bit more with the ball. So heads are being hung a little bit in the Italian dugout at the moment where the Chilean cousins are pretty chill. Must be a unique opportunity playing with family members. You know, blood is thick in the water. You can have an argument. Doesn't matter. Your best friends, your best mates, your, your family sure. afterwards. One of you is Nan's favourite, though. And I think, <laughs> well, I think between Esteban and Marco, they know who it is. <laughs> the Italians, Enrico and Adrian. Well, they've just been sparkling. They've played a lot of volleyball. They've played two, three setters leading into this. They had a tough three-setter against the good New Zealand combination Sam O'Day and Johan Johan Timmer just to get out of the first round of qualifying they had to win in three they also had a big three-setter against the Russian combination in the second round so they've had to play a lot of clutch volleyball and they find themselves in a clutch situation now they trail 3-0 they've called their tactical timeout so they've called it early in the set so they have to make it pay Opportunity, Esteban, he'll get a chance to rip. Ball off the blocking hands and out just for a moment. We weren't sure if Enrico Rossi touched that, but he didn't make too much of a complaint when the ball was called off his hand. So 4-0, that timeout. Not tactically paying dividends that perhaps the Italian combination would have liked. They're going to have to find some way to break this run of points. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Nice composure. Well, got them out of trouble on that occasion, Rossi, but Chile is really working the serve well, so keeping the Italians perhaps away from their strength, which is the faster plays, keeping that ball nice and deep. And is that a thing? This is a brand new team. Is that middle ball something that isn't quite locked in between the two players if they've not played together before? Absolutely. The middle ball is always something that is difficult for any team, regardless of how long they've been playing together. Ball bounced off to Enrico Rossi's uh, Italian head. A little bit of an apology there. He jumped so high and the spike are crushing the ball into him. It's going to be Carambula, though, running the back set. The lefty picked up. He's going to have to make a defensive dig. Going to go back. <gasps> Wow, a double ho a hit. Well, uh, he's called that a lift, so the ball stayed still in the hands of Rossi. Interesting, I gasped because I, I just hadn't seen that before yeah. yet, but I think, you know, on reflection, it did really stop in his hands. It wasn't a lot of arguing from Rossi. Let's see if they can side it here. Again, going deep middle. Too far this time, but that's a good tactic. It's working well for Chile right now, pushing Italians deep through that middle of the court. Scoreboard now 6-2. Italy, though, with the ball. Oh, good heat cross-court. The Grimalts have been spiking well. They're uh, 
power game looks really confident, really assured. Chile up to the southern end of the beach. Esteban, the defensive player. Six foot three. The shorter by two inches of the of the two cousins. He's a short inside ball, but he was waiting patiently, Marco Grimaldi, and he pounced. Yeah. Pounced well. And the set was just too small on that occasion. You know, these were the plays that have been paying off for the Italians so far, and we really thought that that would be something that would be difficult for the Chile team to, to handle, but right now the, the execution of their plays is not as crisp as it has been in the first part. Let's see if we can get one through here. Touched on the block. And get another opportunity. Rossi for a swing. Hits the net. Great pick up. Second, third ball comes over. This time, Karambula, the lefty, misses everything. He can't believe it despairingly. As the left-handed player on the left side of the court, if that ball drops inside in the middle a bit more, you know, the line spike is gone. He's got to go cross-court if he wants to go with power. And it really closes down his options. And he just went a little too sharp and, and missed the sideline. So he won't be satisfied. A 9-2 scoreboard is starting to look worrisome for the Italians in the gold medal game. This time, though, off the block. They are exclusively serving to Karambula, the two Grimalds from Chile. They've clearly identified the shorter athlete, the six-foot-tall athlete. Despite all of his party tricks and his agility, that he's the guy they want attacking the ball at them. And they've held, handled it, him pretty well. I haven't seen many opportunities for Rossi to hit a second ball. He doesn't look inclined to do it. He's only done it once this match. Maybe it's time for him to consider that option. That is absolutely unstoppable down the line. Pitcher perfect. Run around behind and just for a right-hander to bury that ball without a block. That's textbook for all the kids out there. Do that. Copy that. Do that. To the letter. A thousand times this weekend. Absolutely. Oh, not that, though. No, not the, hit, not the uh, serve out. Don't try that at home, kids. <laughs> That'll drive your coaches crazy. Well, oh. Chile now coming down to the favoured end, being able to use the wind perhaps a little bit more. Hitting into the wind is always an advantage. And that's a warning sign for me. Italy have uh, let a six-point gap slip, and their opposition are down at the, the more favoured end. They can play with a bit more freedom down there, so... Trouble serve. Oh, it's great. Over the top, just too big. That time, Marco Grimold reaching over the top and getting the ball in the sand, giving his partner three or four claps. Yes, that, that is some hard hand pressure on the hand slap. That shows how pumped up they are. 11-4, serving tough into the breeze. It's going to be Rossi that gets a look at one. So there you go. They're, they're going to pay dividends. No, 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 no. So... They've gone away from Karambula on the serve. Rossi didn't necessarily execute, but the ball that was put over again, they couldn't land it, missing the baseline by a fair way. So maybe a bit of fortune there for the Italians. Here we go, Karambula to send it skyward. Oh, no, no, no. I think they're saying that he's oh, serving outside, it from outside. Yeah. Gosh, you don't see that He was getting that very close to that in the beginning of this match. I was wondering about that, and the linesman was spot on. Outstanding officiating from our lines judges. I've not seen someone called for going outside the sidelines on their serve for about 20 years. So that is a, a bizarre and uh, correct call. That, that's the unpredictability of Karambula. He's keeping everybody on their toes. Well, he doesn't need to go out that wide. I mean, it's not like he's got a particular angle on the ball. He's belting it into the sky. here again, he steps out. Clearly, he's broken the side plane of the court. They can't step on the line, but they have to stay inside the, the bounds of the sidelines, if that makes sense. Live action, we come back to it, and you can see there that the errors are starting to multiply, and the Italians are starting to show a little bit of impetuosity and a little bit of unhappiness with their game. They're, they don't look happy. They don't look like, look like they're enjoying the gold medal match. 13-6. Esteban. Marco playing great volleyball. Look at that. That's absolutely breathtaking. The layout dig turns into a free ball. And there's the second ball. And he couldn't execute it. So Rossi had a chance. He had a good look. 
And sometimes the athlete that does the extra yard, as Grimault did on that occasion, gets the rewards. An unforced error by Enrico Rossi makes the scoreboard look very, very dangerous now. Going straight back to Rossi. Karambula this time with a second, and he gets it with the luck of the net drop. So oh well. not, looking too where good. You get them. not looking too good for Italy right now, but Chile, oh, my gosh, haven't they been amazing? They've really been on their game. They've been able, able to neutralise the creativity of the Italians. They really haven't let them in the game with their, their different types of plays. 7.14 of the technical timeout. That's as big a margin at a technical timeout as I've seen today at least. So the gold medal match is one-sided at the moment. It has to be said, the number two-seeded combination, the Chilean cousins of Esteban and Marco Grimalt are in control of the gold medal match up against Enrico Rossi and Adrian Carambula, the Italian 25th seeds and qualifiers in their first ever tournament together. Have they got what it takes to mount a fight back? The Italians have got a mountain to climb. And they need to do it soon because that 21-point horizon, that finish line, well, it's not far away for the Chilean combination and they know it. The crowd are into it, though. The crowd are absolutely loving it. And they're loving this men's match and they're probably getting warmed up for the women's gold medal final because Australia will be playing the US after this. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was required. Enrico Rossi, bellissimo. Absolutely beautiful. Watch these hands waiting, 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 waiting. Gotcha. One back. Could it be two back? That is two back. Enrico, the encore. Timeout call. Chile have come out of the technical timeout and, got, and seen the Italians go block, block. So Enrico Rossi has uh, found a bit of a groove. So certainly a 14-9 scoreboard, much more attractive than the 14-7-1 that we saw at the last technical timeout. You see the Italians still looking hopeful. The Chilean Cuzzies, though, looking quite at home. And the crowd enjoying it. Good Chilean support, good Italian support in here. As we've said before in other broadcasts, the crowd here at Manly are so knowledgeable about the sport. They've been treated to some wonderful Australian athletes and the likes of Julian Prosses and Kerry Pothas who have gone on to take on the world. And I'm sure all of the people involved with the event will be super pleased. Hello World Travel have done such great things. There's Spikey, the mascot. It's a funny little thing, isn't he it? He is a kooky little marsupial. <laughs> <laughs> Underway again, 9-14. Italy trying to fight back. Uno, dos, tre. Three in a row. Do not adjust your set, folks. Enrico Rossi has just caught fire and is dragging the Italians back into this match. With three massive blocks in a row. Surely he can't get four. Oh, they go around him. Oh, good choice in defense there. Karambula knew that the line shot was coming, but it was just well played short. And I think perhaps Rossi knew that he had to yeah, turn they, and They did. were always going to chip around him on the, on the fourth attempt, weren't they? 15-10. The Chileans regain their composure, and they've got the ball as well. Karambula, the runaround play. Can't penetrate past Marco Grimalt, though. So 16-10. Just going to adjust the antenna. And the athlete just came into the net. Of course, the antennas indicate the extension of the sideline. The ball's got to go between the antenna when it crosses the net to be a legal play. All is well. Karambula unblocked. Esteban picks him up easily, though, and returns with a drop shot of some quality. 16-10, there is a feeling of inevitability about it now. How can the Italians, they've used up their timeout, they've had the technical timeout, there's no way the Chileans at 17-10 are going to give them any easy points now. Oh, <laughs> he had to go for that. What a hit, Enrico Rossi. 
he was like, there's no way I'm going to set this. This is high and hard. Wow, that's a pure arm swing. Yep. Bouncing that one right out of the stadium. Absolutely. 11-17. It will be the Italian combination. And Rico Rossi to serve on their behalf. But the six-point deficit is starting to become a real concern for the Italian fans. And it's just become a seven-point deficit. I think it's been called for a reach, which is interesting. The ball was put in by the Chilean. Enrico Rossi. That's an unfortunate call there. Regardless of whether it's right or wrong, at this time of the match, it's not going to do the Italians any good. They're going to really have, hang their heads after this one. Tough to come back from here. We're, as we said, we're going to 21. At the three points, it's all Chile need to do is side out three times. Usually have a long road if they want to get back into this. Hope you're, in watching, hope you're enjoying watching the gold medal game, folks. We are deep in the second set. Chile leading one set to love. And on the back of that swing, they are now leading 19-11 in the second set. And surely... Nothing now can stop the Chilean juggernaut from claiming a gold medal. This would match their gold medal from the FIVB event in Tokyo 2018 back in July. Will they have another gold medal to add to their collection? Down the line, Karambula needed to get one back. So 12-19 now. But surely even... The magician that is Adrian Karambula couldn't conjure up something to get his team back into this match now. It's like he's going for his jump floater. Get a bit of movement through the middle. Nicely handled. Rossi has a look. Uh, sorry. Yes, Marco has a look. Grimalt, easy down the line. Well, the crowd are on their feet. And they're making a big noise. And they're on their feet in Santiago and all over Chile. Because Esteban and Marco are repping Chile well and they've got a gold medal serve for the win. It is run and done. Esteban, Marco Grimald from Chile have defeated a very gallant Enrico Rossi and Adrian Carambula. But the gold medal goes to Chile and it goes really well. Congratulations to the Cousins. They were absolutely sublime.